Good morning, this is Brandon. It is Monday, February 1st, and uh, this morning I traded AMD. Uh, we had two levels from the pre-market plan of attack. First level was this uh, 86.22, and the <clears throat> excuse me, the lower level was this 85.02. So um, it came into the first level very early in the morning. Within within a couple of minutes, it was uh, invading this level and 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 the standard risk below it. So um, I did start in on a position here at uh, 8.30, so within that first uh, candle, uh, right as it was coming and approaching the level, I bought one contract, I bought a second contract the next minute, 8.31, as it was hitting the level. Um, <clears throat> actually, it looks like I bought two as it was hitting that level, roughly for the about $2.50, um, and then I bought a fourth contract here 834 right in here as it was getting further into our standard risk um, <clears throat> and then I had four contracts and then I doubled my position um, pretty pretty close to the low of, of the day at that point the low of the day what looks like about two dollars and seven cents so I doubled my position um, two at for 211 and two for 210 so about two 211 or a little bit lower um, so right there right in this area uh, and that was at 839 right here right after this close um, and then it popped and my average price if I remember correctly was about two dollars and thirty cents um, so realistically, I did have a chance to take off the entire position for uh, a modest profit. But <clears throat> and, and right when we came into the VWAP is when when I had that opportunity. Um, and so unfortunately, I only took off half of the position. Um, uh, sometimes AMD, especially lately, has been you know, just staying down here just for a little while and then popping pretty well. Um, so I, I thought that might happen again. I wanted to leave myself some bullets in the chamber to to pay myself as it went higher. Uh, unfortunately, it tested that VWAP. I got out of half of my position for some profit. Um, not a lot of profit, actually. Uh, if my average was 230, so I actually lost $8 on that, lost a dollar on that made 13 on that and made 14 on that so not not a lot of profit um, <clears throat> and then when it dropped back down here I thought it might make a double bottom so um, I bought back in to the four contracts for roughly that same price two dollars and eleven cents actually I got one at 215 one at 216 and a couple at 202 all within that one candle at 846 which was right here as it was making what I thought would turn out to be a double bottom but it kept going now at this point here it did violate my standard risk so um, so I started looking uh, for an exit and trying to get out of this trade <coughs> um, I I did buy two more contracts um, right here at 848. So it was like pretty much right at the bottom of our standard risk. Um, and then it started to pop a little bit and just just didn't go high enough. So um, I, I told myself if we broke below that low right there, I would exit the position. So as soon as that happened at 8:53, I just hit the. As soon as we got that close at 8, close at 8:53, the next moment I hit the flatten button um, and got out of the trade. Now the the loss on this trade was about 230. Let me see here. Yeah, minus 235 um, plus I traded 
in and out of 16 contracts, I think. So that's another $16 for commission. So round about 250 lost there. Um, however, I executed my plan uh, not perfectly, but very, very well. So I'm very happy with this trade. I'm very happy that I that I executed when I was supposed to, more or less. It would have been better if I executed somewhere in this area. Um, you know, maybe could have gotten a few more cents <clears throat> than the uh, exit price of dollar eighty eight. But by and large, I'm very happy with the execution. This right here pulling the trigger and exiting a position with a loss is in my opinion or in my experience the most difficult thing to do uh, the trade plan it's very easy to execute the trade plan perfectly <laughs> when the trade is going your way very very easy um, and even if you make a mistake it's like oh well, i just left some money on the table i still got profits and it's not a big deal but these times, so these levels don't always work, right? Obviously, no strategy is going to be 100%. Um, no strategy has 100% probability of being profitable every single trade. So when this happens, I have to be able to exit the trade and exit the position with the loss. And it's one of the most difficult things for me to do personally. Um, so even though I don't like losing $250, I'm still very, very happy with myself that I exited this trade. And it was on that candle, well, technically on that candle, but after that close, and then look at this next candle. When I saw that, I thought, oh boy, I'm so glad I exited the trade. Now I had 10 contracts, so every 10 cents is $100. So there was a potential for me to try to hang on to this position and then Instead of getting out at a dollar eighty-eight, what if I'd hung on and then, then and then what if I panicked right during that candle and and I could have easily gotten out for the worst possible price of the day, which is uh, <clears throat> twenty-three cents. So it could have been a, a, a you know a five hundred dollar loss, an additional two fifty right there or two thirty. You know what I mean? So, so I'm very happy to take the loss when I'm supposed to take the loss, exit the trade and regroup. Now, I didn't have the wherewithal to already take this trade on this um, on this lower level until a little bit later. So let me show you that trade. Okay. <clears throat> So I didn't enter this position. Until it looks like 908. So where was that? <clears throat> ah, so I, I mean, I actually did pretty well. I didn't enter the position in this area where I technically should have. Uh, but this is pretty good right here. So as it was coming down into that lower level, 908, I bought, uh, and I went a little bit larger. I was taking it in twos. So I was buying two contracts and then buying two more contracts, just using market orders. Uh, the spreads are pretty, pretty decent on AMD <clears throat> options. And these were, uh, the last one was the 85, 86 calls. And these were the 85.5 calls. Um, so two and two. Two and two on the next candle, 908, 909. So right in here, beautiful double bottom. And and then we started to get this nice bounce. And so I started to pay myself on the way up. So I bought into, uh, I had eight contracts there. And then I took off a couple at 221. Or excuse me, at uh <clears throat> Excuse me. So eight contracts total, paid myself on a quarter of the position here at 915. So as we came back up towards the uh, VWAP or we got above the uh, nine and the 20 EMA. So just just took a couple of off, a couple contracts off. 
we got this little drop drop here which I executed perfectly I believe I got the low of that candle uh, maybe not so maybe the low there was um, a a two dollars but I got two more contracts for 201 so I was just basing it off of this price here I just had a limit order sitting at 201 got a perfect fill I, I, I figured it would maybe test this level again from above um, and it didn't even make it there but anyway grabbed two more so back up into eight contracts um, and then started rising here so started paying myself took off a couple of contracts four contracts there at 922 so as it was coming into the VWAP took two off for 219 and took two off for 216 um, took off one more so I had I had eight then I had four, then I had three, um, 9.24, right there on that green, that green push there, just took one off, um, and then it started to drop back down and came right back down into that 85.02 level, um, so I bought into two more at 9.39, so right there, right as it came back into the 85.02, just two, so I had three, now I had five, <clears throat> started to bounce a little bit, but not very much, um, I had five contracts, then I had seven contracts here, so bought two more at 9.54. So right in here, sort of a triple bottom, higher low right there. Uh, so seven contracts. Then we started to get this really nice bounce um, and I paid myself on the way up pretty nicely. So 10.06, took off two contracts right there, that nice green candle. Probably in the next minute, yep, took off one more at 10.07 as it, as it was uh, approaching the VWAP. Not sure why I didn't take, maybe my VWAP on TC2000 was a bit lower, I don't I don't remember here. Um, at, oh no, there it is. So then at 10.08, this nice green push above the VWAP, took two more off, so I had seven. Took off a total of five there, so only had two remaining. Is that right? Yeah. Yep, only had two contracts left. So took took off one more at 1016 as it was pushing here. Nice green candle there, excuse me, right there. So approaching that upper level. Um, took one more off and then we had one more pullback to sit through and then we got one more nice push. Um, so when it pushed above that level, 1040, Two, I did have a limit order sitting, sitting on this one, and believe I caught, might have caught caught the high of the day right there. Yeah, probably uh, did pretty well on that last contract. So 10.43, so right there, and that was it. I was flat on the position, um, so completely made up for the loss. Um, this morning the minus 250 or before commissions minus 235 and then on that second trade I had plus 262 so a profit a, a gross profit of what $27 um, you know so it, commissions is probably going to eat up basically all that so pretty much just flat on the day or break even on the day maybe up or down a dollar or two uh, but I'm extremely happy with my execution today and that's what it's all about it's not so much about the P&L in my opinion it's more about can you can you control your behaviors um, and that's that's for me that's the most important part about day trading is is always being in control of my behavior I don't like to use the word discipline um, but I do like to think about my behaviors and always making sure that my behaviors are um, in alignment with my trade plan. Um, so, 
yeah, so that's about it. I'm I'm super happy with the day, and uh, you know, like I always say, uh, Trick Trades is the place to be for anyone who wants to learn how to day trade. Um, Pat can be, <laughs> uh, let's just say, I'm not. I I, I don't I don't uh, enjoy his personality very much, but I do very very much enjoy uh, his levels, his guidance his uh, trading strategy um, and it, it, in the end that's why I'm there at Trick Trades. I'm not there to make a, a new friend. I'm there to learn how to trade. I'm there to uh, get the, the, the nice levels uh, that Pat comes up with uh, each and every day uh, and I'm there to, to make money. Um, so I, I highly recommend it. Um, join us at Trick Trades. Dot com. I do have an affiliate link below. Um, alternatively, you can send me an email. It's belieftrader at gmail.com. Send me an email and let me know you, you're interested. Uh, and I can, I can give you a discount code where you can save 20% off your first month guidance membership. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit that like button and it would help out my channel, and uh, I'll see you next time.